So you must be the courier the reports mentioned. Pass this message on to your commander. Hoover Dam will not fall while I still draw breath. This battle is far from over. Once the reinforcements from McCarran arrive, the counteroffensive will begin. If that's true, then there's nothing else for it. My men and I will hold out as long as we can. And go where? According to you, the road west is blocked. And while you might let us by, I highly doubt your allies will do the same. Perhaps I do have a secret tunnel out of here, but that doesn't change anything. My duty is to stay and fight. My men and I are soldiers. We share an obligation to follow orders, and our orders are to hold this dam. You're... you're right. These men have placed their lives in my hands, and I won't throw them away for a lost cause. Don't expect to hold this place for very long, however. The NCR will be back. So the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Caesar entered the Strip as though it was his triumph. The Legion pushed the NCR out of New Vegas entirely, driving them back to the Mojave outpost. The Legion occupied all major locations, enslaving much of the population and peacefully lording over the rest. Under the Legion's banner, civilization, unforgiving as it was, finally came to the Mojave Wasteland. Though the courier herself was just and forthright in her dealings throughout the Wasteland, she helped the Legion achieve victory. Caesar honored her with a golden coin, minted in celebration of her contributions and distributed throughout the Wasteland. Tabitha and Rhonda went east through Caesar's land Occasionally, tales of their exploits found their way back west, though few believed them. Eventually, the stories concerning the duo were collected and published, and proved to be quite popular with children. Invigorated by his travels with the courier, Raul once more took up his guns in memory of his lost Rafaela. Soon after, the Mojave was filled with tales of the ghost vaquero who hunts down those who prey on the weak. Cautious after the Boomer's display of power at Hoover Dam, Caesar chose to leave the Boomers alone. The Boomers remained isolated, but have been seen flying over the Mojave Desert from time to time. During the fight for Hoover Dam, the Brotherhood took Helios I, inflicting heavy damage on retreating NCR forces. But it was a Pyrrhic victory. Once the Strip was secured, Caesar's forces overwhelmed and eventually routed the Brotherhood from Helios I and Hidden Valley. The peace with NCR served to ease Veronica's worries about the Brotherhood's immediate future. Still, a distance had arisen between her and her fellow members that would never be bridged. She began secluding herself in crumbling libraries of the old world, learning of promising technologies she knew the Brotherhood would never adopt. Their leaders destroyed by the Courier, the fiends scattered throughout the wasteland, Without the organization of Motor Runner, Cook Cook, Violet, and Driver Nephi, they were easy prey. After the Legion's victory, Caesar, out of a strange respect for his old fellows, allowed the followers safe passage out of the wasteland. 
Reluctantly, the followers accepted the offer and abandoned Old Mormon Fort to the Legion. The Legion, preoccupied with its acquisition of New Vegas, scarcely took notice of the town of Good Springs. Many locals moved on, fearful of Caesar's long shadow. Only the old and the stubborn remained. The slaughter of the Van Graffs and the Crimson Caravan caused no end of trouble for NCR back west. Already struggling, NCR's supply lines suffered further as the two caravans withdrew support until the massacre in the east was resolved. Cass lived to see the mark of the Legion on Hoover Dam. Uncertain of what lay next for the West, she remained silent. As the Legion marched West, she found it difficult to see the dam as anything more than a gravestone for the Mojave and everyone in it. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. After their victory at Hoover Dam, Legion troops rolled through Freeside. The kings tried to fight back, but most were killed, and the rest fled into the wasteland. Though Camp Golf fell to Caesar, the misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack. Mags and her soldiers were posthumously recognized for their valor by NCR. During the Legion's attack on Novak, bright followers returning from their long pilgrimage assisted in its evacuation. Though Novak eventually fell to the Legion, many citizens of Novak were able to escape, alive and intact. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. After the Vault 19 powder gang surrendered to the NCR, they were reincorporated into the correctional system. The NCR did increase their sentences, and they aren't about to take off time for good behavior. Despite NCR's pledge to support Prim, they abandoned the town after their loss to Caesar. Though Caesar keeps Prim open for business, its citizens live under the constant watch of Legion soldiers. After the death of Chief Hanlon, the power of NCR's Rangers was broken for years. Their organization, so reliant on the wisdom and guidance of its elder members, became a shadow of what it once was to people across the wasteland. Merciless in their assault on the NCR, the remnants struck fear into the hearts of even the Centurions at Hoover Dam. Well aware of the full extent of their power, Kaisar commanded his troops to not pursue them. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. In other news, intense fighting erupted on Hoover Dam as tensions between NCR and Caesar's Legion boiled over. But in a shocking turn of events, the dam has been rendered useless, and both sides have taken heavy casualties. Neither faction appears to have won. Now, sources of the dam are telling us that the involvement of one key person appears to have heavily influenced the outcome. 
Witness descriptions are remarkably similar to accounts of the Good Springs Courier, who, as we reported, recently survived a gunshot to the head. Listeners are not advised to follow that path in hopes of similar results. True to Kaiser. 